I never remember where to look, but I know I need to look at right at the camera so that my eyes don't go this way or my eyes don't go this way. My eyes don't go this way or my eyes don't go this way. Hi everyone, Michael Landfield here. Thank you for joining me at Peaceful Village Raw Vegan Healing Community at peaceful hyphen village dot com that's peaceful hyphen village dot com today's video is an interesting one because it's a little bit about music and movies okay let's let's talk about this and I think this is going to be a very very important topic here to discuss because when we talk about music and movies, what are we talking about? We're talking about all types of music, specifically, and, and movies, specifically from the United States, but other others as well. Now, I've seen movies from various countries, from China to India to Africa to United States to Canada to Latino America, many different places, and uh, movies, and also music as well. And what I noticed over the years is that a lot of them, especially when I listen to English music, I start to understand these are, or at least most, or if not all, of the music is is violent. It's all about someone, basically about, about two, three things, either about drugs and sex, okay, or, or about, or about the lack of love, or, or come back to me, baby, I love you so much, you're mine, you're only mine. And these kind of things, um, and yeah, so it's really, it's really, especially Hollywood um, and American music, or, or United States music, I should say, is horrible. It's horrible, just generally horrible. And the movies have subliminal messages. They're most of them are violent. Even the ones that you learn from, they're very violent. Um, it's 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 overall just so horrible uh, music and I noticed that over the years uh, even still as a vegan I was listening to the, these a lot of this these type of music from different uh, countries different places and I noticed that yeah they're very very ownership like I own you come back to me baby don't leave me uh, these kind of things, you know, and the movies, usually violent in nature, people smoking, drinking alcohol, with guns, with weapons, uh, or, or karate, or these kind of things, that really is a, is a violent way of being and living. And so, uh, for the most part, and slowly, slowly, I'm, I'm actually getting rid of, of, these things from my life. Uh, of course, from time to time, Aurora and I, we still watch um, Hollywood movies or B movies or Indian Bollywood movies. So really, it's it's there. There are many comedies and many dramas and many many films and even documentaries that really portray a lot of violence. Now maybe they they portray violence like, as in a documentary. Um, to teach us something, uh, you know, and uh, like, uh, for example, like earthlings. But um, really, it's about removing as much violence from, especially when we already know know these kinds of things. Removing the violence from our lives uh, as much as possible. Now, when it comes to wildlife documentaries, like ones 
uh, from BBC and so forth. And uh, by the way, I'm not endorsing any of these uh, companies. Um, there's a lot, or National Geographic, there's a lot of violence, you know. The three things in these film, films or documentary films that, that um, are prevalent or that they mainly talk about is procreation or sex, about food and getting food, and the third one is, is well, sex, food, what was the other one? Well, about, yeah, about killing. So there's a lot of killing in, in, in these films. So as they say, sex, rock and roll, and drugs. But of course, the animals, non-human animals, non-domesticated non-human animals, wild animals, uh, don't do drugs, of course. Um, so you see the lion, you see the tiger, they always take the similar, similar shots line against line or uh, uh, line attacking another another animal uh, herbiv herbivorous herbivorous animal or or eating the other animal um, so really so, and then also having sex so really it's about these two things it's about killing and it's about sex right so Violence is really prevalent in a lot of these movies, documentary, Hollywood, these kinds of things. And violence sometimes is funny. Sometimes there's there's uh, funny movies, very very comical films that portray violence. And as human beings, somehow we find this we find this funny, but truly in real life. Violence is not funny. Going with someone with a gun or with a club uh, to someone and trying to hit them is not funny, truly. But somehow we find this funny, and and deep down somehow we find this funny. I guess it's I don't know maybe the programming and the woundedness of society, so and our culture, and it's exacerbated by throughout cultures, throughout uh, societies. Um, uh, religions also reinforce these kinds of things. Um, it's a lot, a lot of, lot, a lot of violence with, within music and movies. And if you see, like a lot of, lot of um, music videos, for example, are half-naked women portraying body and sticking their ass, uh, their butts in the in the screen. And really, really, uh, people with gold chains and materialistic uh, lifestyles and and expensive cars and souped-up cars, jumping up and down. Um, uh, you know, especially the especially the stuff that you see on TV and the stuff that you see on mainstream uh, music channels. And radio and things like that it's horrible and they keep playing the same songs over and over and over and over and over it's like wow and these lyrics and these videos really don't don't teach they don't teach anybody anything about life about living a spiritual and ethical life and environmental life they just they just even commercials, for example, uh, you know, all these commercials that advertise and sh and and show Santa Claus or show uh, buy this and buy that, and if you eat this uh, fast food, fast junk, you need this medication and this thing and this thing and this thing. So it's horrible. And then and then on top of that, you're 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 depressed, or you're not fulfilled, or you're not happy, so then, on top of that, they advertise and promote fancy cars and fancy houses and, and so many things, and they have the shopping network and shopping channels, 
and and then they have online all kinds of things to buy and this and that it's like and I'm not saying that I'm completely out of it I'm still part of it I still somehow support this kind of things but slowly slowly I'm starting to understand what's really going on you know and slowly slowly walking away from society from culture and society so no longer do we live, do I live in, in towns or cities anymore. I may visit from time to time places here and there, but for the most part, um, I'm in our land, we're in our land, in our beautiful pristine land in the Amazon jungle. Uh, you can see all this greenery behind, you know, it's beautiful. And yeah, we still watch movies from time to time. Yeah, we still watch, still listen to music from time to time. Yeah, a lot of those have violent lyrics. There's not, there's not many enlightened or spiritual or ethical or environmental type of videos or type uh, or music out there. Not many, you know, not many at all. And it's very, very much a shame because a lot of mulch here. A lot of mulch, yeah, that's what you're hearing, the crunch, crunch. So, there's a lot of uh, violence in this kind of stuff. And, and until we start to realize that our whole society, the whole society, not our society, but the whole society and culture that we grew up in, or that people, people are still part of, uh, it's horrible. It's horrible. And once we start to really see the bigger, bigger picture of really what's going on, we don't want to be part of society. That's, that's just how it is. We don't want to be part of society. Yes, we're still using money. Yes, we're, we are, we are still using these amenities, certain amenities from uh, buying our groceries and so forth and other, other things from, from the town. Uh, we do, we do our best, to, we're doing our best to get, get out of that. So that's the whole idea about this kind of thing. Just to be aware about really what's going on within society, within Babylon. And to say, hey, I don't want to be part of that anymore, slowly, slowly. And there's other videos about how we can transition away from society and get away from all this kind of thing. And you know what's good is to make our own music, to have instruments and make our own music. And that's really um, what we want to do for the future is really to have more instruments, natural instruments, not made from animals as much as possible, and to make our own natural, natural music. Maybe with some synthesizers here and there, but basically natural music. And also, another thing is to just listen to nature. Nature is music herself, and also a movie, the best beautiful movie ever. If you think about it, like look, for example, there's over there, there's a, a tree or a leaf dancing. So you see, you see the best and the, and the most amazing um, movie on earth, which is green. Amazing green. There's some flowers as well here and there, different color flowers and different color leaves. Uh, but yeah, you see the most amazing thing, and uh, also animals. And it's, so you get you get music, free music from nature, and you get free a free movie from nature. And we have because we have an open open cabin, kind of semi open cabin, or semi closed. <laughs> Uh, we can see, when we eat, we can see um, nature. We, or we can just go outside and we can eat outside in nature, right in the jungle. And yeah, we have a lot of plants growing, a lot of things happening here. So this is really, it's really to just start questioning everything that we are exposed to. Even the radiation that we're exposed to, the radiation the music, the movies, the things that we're exposed to on social media, 
all these kinds of things, we have to just realize, hey, we don't want to be a part of that, or at least slowly, slowly we're getting rid of, we're getting rid of that. So that's it for this video, everybody. I'm very glad, grateful that you can come and join us in this video. If you have any comments or you have anything that you want to add, please post it down below. I very much appreciate you joining me. I'm Michael Anfield from Peaceful Village, Raw Vegan Healing Community. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me in Peaceful Village, Raw Vegan Healing Community in this part of the land called Tierra Libertad. We're living here at the moment. We're working in this part of the land at the moment. And you can visit our website at peaceful-village.com. Okay, I think that's about it, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye.